Hey there, my name is Marcy Card from Bricks Templates and today I'm going to show you how you can add a countdown animation like kind of like a time countdown animation like this or a count up animation like this on your Webflow website. Great, so actually doing this is super, super easy and we already prepared this free Webflow clonable for you. This means that these sections are already set up in Webflow so you can easily just copy and paste them on your website and that way, you like you are going to have this content. So how do you implement it? It is actually super simple. So first, you need to clone uh, this clonable, and for that, you can just uh, like if you find this on the Webflow showcase, just go ahead and clone it from there. Or if you find find this on on YouTube, just go into the description and click on the on the link to go into the Webflow showcase to clone it. And once you already have it cloned, in order to customize it, you only need to do the following. So first, regarding the count the countdown. So for this, you will see that all of these elements already have the correct classes. Like if you select these, you will see this has uh, like the ID for days. Uh, then this has the IDs for ID for hours. This has the ID for minutes, and this has the ID for seconds. Then if you click on the number itself, you will see it has the, the class number. Same happens with the other ones. So it's important to keep those uh, on the numbers because that's uh, how it gets connected into the JavaScript. So then if you go into the settings in here, into home, and you go into the, into the settings in here, you will see that in this part where it says countdown code, all of this includes the functionality to make it work until in, in then it's here. So what you need to do is if you want to change the date is just to go ahead and change it from here. So like you can add like any particular date you want right in here and it's going to work like perfectly fine. So you can just change that, uh, click save and it will be saved. So super, super, super easy. Then into the next one uh, for the count up. So like if you want to make these numbers count up, what do you need to do? So the code is all also in here too. Like you can see the here at the bottom, we have count down uh, up. So we have it in here. So all this code makes these numbers count up. So what you need to do is, uh, is just the following. So you need to select one of these numbers, then go into the settings and then change to which number do you want this to grow here in the attributes and in which speed do you want that to happen. So for example, let's say that you want this number to go into, I don't like 300. So you can just try 300, then go into data to 300 and change the speed. For example, I will set up like five seconds. Okay, so I will just add 5,000 milliseconds because that equals five, five seconds. I just click save, I just click publish, and that is going to work the way I just described. So if it gets published in a second, you will see it works just that following way. So we click on preview here, we go into that part, we scroll and you will see it takes around five seconds to reach uh, 300 as we kind of set it up. So same like on the other, uh, in the other way, it's important to follow the, like to keep the JavaScript in there and don't remove the classes. So like just keep the classes that these are, these already have. Also than that, like you don't need to do anything else. Feel free to add more classes to customize them to your own design style guides. But also than that, everything else is set up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for, for this in this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.